Good morning, guys. So we're here with my precious princess. She's about to get off and go to school. Huh? Oh, she has a substitute today. <laughs> so after I drop her off, I'll be going on my daily walk with the baby. Such a beautiful morning. It's so cold right now, but you know when you're walking and you're getting hot, this cold weather makes it so much better. So I'm looking forward to that. Gotta get this weight down. Yup. Hope you're all having a great day, peeps. Getting our daily walk in with my baby. Come on, babe. Come on. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a great day, guys. For me, I love getting my daily walk in because the sun is out. I'm getting my vitamin D3. And it's great just getting exercise. I love it. So now I'm back home with this cutie pie. He's awake now, and now we're gonna go what? Water the plants. Hi, huh, baby. <laughs> do the blues clues. Do 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 do. <laughs> You're so cute, baby. Let's go water the plants now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing baby come on so I'm gonna make a cream of potato soup for tonight uh, for dinner so I'm gonna go ahead and prep that up right now so that way I could just get it out of the way because I still have other things to do around the house and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm gonna use to make the cream of potato soup all organic ingredients just so you guys can see so for the cream of potato soup, I'm going to use uh, celery. This is organic from Sprouts. Some organic potatoes and some more potatoes, organic potatoes. I'm not going to use the whole bag of this. I'm just going to use what's left of this one. And then, you know, get a little bit more of this bag. And then also I want to pick up my pink Himalayan salt from Sprouts. And also... I have, I'm going to be using the garlic, uh, this one's organic from Sam's, and then from Costco, I'm so happy that they now carry this big uh, carton of heavy whipping cream because I get a lot more for my money with this carton, and then um, I, get, I got the chicken stock and the cayenne pepper from Sprouts. And then from Sprouts, I also have the uncured turkey bacon, which I use it to make the soup. And so this is the stuff that I have, guys, to work with. So um, I'm going to get started on it, and then I'll show you guys what I do. Also, this is the uh, flour that I use to make it. I just had forgotten to put it on there, but yeah, I use this flour. I got this one at Sprouts, but they sell it at um, Thrive and Mother's Market. So just look online or go to your uh, local organic store. That way you can see if they have all these products, which I'm more than sure that they do. Also, I put in some of the raviolis. This one is the... Um, the baby spinach cheese ravioli it's organic I get it at Costco it's a two pack so I always use one pack for every um, for every soup that I make because it's a lot it, so check it out guys I put in the turkey bacon and it's getting um, browned browned up and ready to go for the next step I put in the turkey bacon so it can cook and I'm just moving it and as soon as it's done I'm gonna get it out and then I'll show you guys the next step I put in um, the garlic, the onions, and the celery. So it can get warm and brown up.
now I put in the flour so it can get like a pasty type of, um, of uh, consistency and then I'll go ahead and show you right now so, gotta get all the flour mixed in with the veggies so it's just not white like that let me get the chicken stock now so I'm putting in the chicken stock all organic I'm going to go ahead and stir it. Now I'm going to put a cup of water, unfluoridated water. I'm going to pour another cup of unfluoridated water so it can um, boil together. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and season. Let it simmer for a minute and then um, add the rest of the chicken stock. And then I'm going to let it boil and once it boils, I'm going to um, add the potatoes. I also added um, black pepper. It's in there with salt. That's the salt. As you guys can see, the pepper's on top. I just added some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat and I'm going to let that simmer. When it's simmering, then you put in the potatoes. Just like that. And then you stir it. Then you let it the potatoes simmer. And once they start simmering, then we go ahead and add our raviolis and our heavy creamery into the pot. Now we're going to put the raviolis in the pot because as you guys can see it's now simmering and we're going to add the Horizon Heavy Whipping Cream. We're going to add one by one because I don't want them to stick. As you guys can see, one little pack makes a lot, so that is why I only put one pack. And this pot is pretty big, as you guys can see. So, and then I give it a little stir, so they kick it in there. And now I'm gonna pour in the heavy whipping cream. When I pour in the whipping cream, I kind of just watch it, so it's like. I see that it's enough. And then I stir it just so I can see the consistency because this is a big can. So I just want to make sure that it's nice and creamy. And then I taste it. So there you have it, guys. It's nice and ready, and everyone's going to eat now. Is it good? Is the soup good? Soup? Yes. Soup. Soup? Soup? Mm-hmm. Soup? Dog? Soup? Huh? Cream of potato soup. Potato. Mm-hmm. With... Spinach ravioli. And unfluoridated water. For my baby. So right now we're going to go to Pier 1 because I received this. This is broken from here. So it sucks not to drive to the store 
and give it to them because they don't have it in stock so it's like a return so it sucks because now I gotta drive you know further away from my house just to return it and I just arrived today sucks 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 so guys in order for you guys to know which items are organic and which items are not organic is this look for this label that says USDA see and that's how you will know that that product is organic and then also they have some green paper see how this one doesn't have anything this is conventional this is organic see and see this is conventional as well even though it says made with organic pasta it's still not organic it does not have that so don't get fooled also guys when buying these these might have both see how this one has USA organic and non GMO verified project these are both with the same logo that you want to look for when buying organic because they have both so if you find an item that does not have this but has this it's still organic but just make sure that you guys check them out right see how all this stuff is conventional does not have the label and this is the stuff that is genetically modified it's not organic and pure it has toxic chemicals GMO. and this is the shenanigans that go on look at that ah go get them sky come here let's go get other stuff come on let's go come on it's okay as long as they're not cracked yeah that's yeah, fine so we're kind of upset because now Sam's does not sell our um, organic milk. We only sell that, which sucks. Before we used to get two full gallons for that price, eleven or ten forty-eight, and now it's like three half gallons. Sucks. Babe, come here. Come here. Come here, baby. Sky. Always with his handy dandy notebook. He's saying for us to look at the moon. Do you have your handy dandy notebook? Yeah? Are you going to draw the moon?